There's a project called Project Zero at Harvard University for the last 60 years plus. They've been doing intelligence tests on kids, spatial, mathematical, interpersonal, intrapersonal, linguistic. And they find by the age of four, virtually every single child tested came out at genius level. Let me say it again. By the age of four, virtually every child tested came out at genius level. By the age of 20, 10% maintained that genius level. Above 20, 2%. My question to us is where the hell did the genius go? Who's driving our bus? Has it just disappeared? And it's been a quest of mine for 25 years to find out what is it? Because some people are handed a set of cards in life and they've handed a beautiful set of cards and played a really crappy game. Some people have been handed a lousy set of cards and played a fantastic game. And my question over here is for you and myself, what kind of game are we playing? Am I playing to my full potentiality? Am I excited about life? Do I get up in the morning driven, excited, motivated? Or do I get up and go, oh God, it's morning. And those are choices. And I just want to run through you very briefly in a few little 20 minutes of how the hell our brain works from an NLP perspective or what we call neuro-linguistic programming. How do we program our brain? We program our brain via the language that we use. If I wake up in the morning and I go, I hate what I'm doing, that word hate is a power program in our brain. So let me give you a quick little rundown of stages of learning and how we learn life very quickly. We're born into life unconsciously incompetent. In other words, I don't know that I don't know. Life just happens. I'm here. We go through processes. It's stuff happens. And if by the age of six, 40 to 50% of what I am is established, what happens between the genius at four and where I am at two? What happens in those two years? And there's some serious conditioning that happens in our lives. And some of our greatest fears, by the way, are what? Fear of failure, fear of success, fear of rejection, fear of embarrassment. Come on, who in this room has got a fear of heights? Who here has got a fear of snakes? Who here has got a fear of spiders? Here are some interesting stats. We're only born with two. We're only born with two fears. Every other fear we have is a learned behavior. Just for fun, take a guess what the two that we're born with, what are they? Fear of death, not even close, but thank you. The fear of falling and the fear of sudden loud noises, that's it. Every other fear we've either learned from our parents, we've learned at school. If your mother, father, auntie, uncle, cousin got a fear of heights and you grew up with them, they'll teach you how to have a fear of heights. And sometimes it's a damn good idea. You don't want to be standing on the edge of the cliff and say, hey, Mark, come have a look. Because you'll terrify them. So we have here, I know that I don't know. I'm out of my comfort zone. I think it was Einstein who said, doing the same old stuff every single day and looking for something different is what lunacy is all about. How many of us get up every day doing the same thing? This is where the genius lies, in conscious incompetence. If we want to go and explore who we are, what we are, what we've got, and what we're really capable of doing, we need to go in there. But that's a fear mode. But let us remind, we're only born with two fears, the fear of falling and the fear of sudden loud noises. So if we step out of our comfort zone and move into another space, there's beautiful stuff that awaits for us. And my experience for sure is there's been plenty of people in there who are on the same journey as what we are.